Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rowan from BuiltByColossus.com and today we've got a treat for you. We're going to run through the new rig we've just released called Harlow. So here she is in all her glory. You can download her from our website and you can also download her textures. Just make sure when you download the textures that you save them into the same location as the rig to make sure that the textures pop up. Okay, let's just go through this rig. Starting from the world control, pretty standard. And if we zoom into the IK foot, you can see that there's attributes on this control. Upper leg extends the upper leg, lower leg extends the lower leg, and then you've got all your standard foot bank controls, foot roll. And then on top of that, you've got this extra control here called foot master that you can sort of, you can automate the, the foot motion. You've got multipliers as well if you need. Okay, moving up the leg, we got the bendy controls, all translatable. And then we have the pole vector control with a knee pin. Move that knee around like so, badass. And then you can change the space of that. So depending on how your rig is moving, you can have the pole vector follow or not. Moving right up here, we got the hip control. And then a set of FK controls here. You can swap that to IK from this spine control here. Like so. And then she also has a main control here, which is root A control. And you've got an offset control as well. Moving right along, clavicle control here, pretty standard. And then you've got your bendy controls along here, like so. All translatable. And then pretty standard hand. And then you've got this control here called Finger Master. It's my favorite control. And it just enables you to automatically move all the fingers at once. Really cool for setting poses really quickly. Everything else is pretty standard. And then on this blue control here, we have all the different attributes for the arm. IKFK switching. have stretchy, if you turn that off, the arm's not going to stretch. Bendy control visibility, preserving volume, so the, the further out the arm is, the more it's going to stretch and lose its volume. Um, auto twist, which is when you twist the arm. If you turn auto twist off, it's not going to have that fall off up the arm, so like I said. Offset locator, if you want to constrain something to the hand. Super important. And then you have IK fingers here. Oops, let's just reset everything first. Also on here we have IK fingers. Like so, it's got world space on there, it's got hand space. You have that for all the fingers. And then, yeah, that's that. Uh, and then we have the wings at the back here. FK wings by default. Pretty standard. And then on this wings control here, we have this flap attribute. And then we have this multiplier just beneath it, which determines how big of a flap it is. So you can make it super small if you want, or you can make it super large, like so. And then you can also turn the wings on and off like that with the wing viz. Okay, moving up to the face, we have the look at control here. There's just a few things on the face. We also have a face panel, but I thought I'd put a few things onto the actual face. Look at control, you've got a jaw control here. And you got sticky controls for smaller little movements. Lip control for upper, lip control for lower, and then lips main control in here as well and then you've got cheek controls stuff to move around the eyelids and now if we move to oh first of all we got the inverse jaw as well so like so and main controls for the head with different space switches chest world and that just means when we move this it's gonna 
not rotate with the torso. Okay, let's reset all this. Then we've got the face panel over here. At the bottom, we've got the lower squash for munching. We've got another mouth control. We've got smiling controls. Also frowning. We have a main mouth control. Oh, actually, new to the Harlow rig, if you open the mouth, we have this attribute on the mouth control called zipper lips. And you can zipper as much as you want. Like so. Close that. We've got cheek controls here. If you rotate them, you get a nice, oops, you get a nice cheek puff. And then up here we got individual blink controls for different sides. And then on the main eye control we have a blink attribute. And then we have a blink bias, top or bottom. And then we have a main eye control. And then we got pupil controls, obviously. <laughs> okay, moving up we have the eyebrow controls. There's a main control for moving the whole eyebrow, you can rotate that. And then we also have these little fine controls on top of that. So you can move them around, you can rotate them. And yeah, lots of options. Um, you can move this panel if you don't like it being there. We also have a camera for it, go face cam here, and you got your own camera ready. And then right at the top of this, we have just a squash control for most of the head. Okay, on top of that we have hair controls here, just FK chain, and then it also has a space, so you can choose the space to be the head of the world. If you put it to world and you move the head, then it's going to not rotate with the head, which is pretty handy. And then finally, we have the settings control. You can turn off control viz, face control viz, turn off geo, you can show the joints, can lock the geo and you can turn on proxy <laughs> this looks super freaky actually but you can turn on proxy geo so it's just a lot speedier because you haven't got all the other stuff moving around with the rig so yep in a nutshell that is the harlow rig so feel free to check it out and i hope you create some really cool stuff with it happy animating cheers <laughs>